guys, Shaber1000 here. Hope you guys are doing well. Just gonna do a little vlogging for you today. I'm gonna hang another shelf up above that one. Monkey brought me another shelf to hang up, so I'm gonna hang it up there. Uh, I did have <laughs> I did have this pretty well straightened out, except for my bench, of course, but Monkey brought me some more stuff this was already in here those are all car polishes um, like this stuff here I'm going to sell there's some things over there I'm going to sell um, some oil cans, more paint got some screws and nails and stuff I'm going to sell some of the nails and screws but and then this thing and there's another one that matches it right there this is going to go up there and those other two things are going to go side by side there so I've got some screws and whatnots. anchors I'll probably be using some of these anchors to hang this shelf up so it's pretty cool these slide out and then you just open them up so I'm going to use some of these anchors anchors to hang that shelf up this one got dropped outside so I put all that stuff back in there but um so yeah, I'm gonna hang that other shelf up there above that right across there uh, this is do, 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 80 89 and 7 8 I believe is what that is. Um, left a little gap there. You know, in case, because I know I'll have to pull this off sooner or later again. So, because i got to run my 220 for that welder there. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I'm just going to mess around and do a couple things out here. In the garage today it's supposed to get 97 to 100 degrees today it's already 88 and it's 9 30 in the morning so all right let me get the door open and then I'll I'm going to measure this and I'll get it I'll get the I'll get the other one cut down and uh, we'll get it up here and get it marked uh, I think these these L brackets I think they're all pretty much in the same spot so I'll cut there was a long end and then a short end on the other side of the mail brackets I just cut the long end off that's what I'm gonna do right now so let me get that cut off and marked so I can get it up here and then we'll go from there
That's money. Good enough. All right. Now I gotta put shit on it. All right, we got that shelf put up. Um, Monkey says she's got more stuff coming, so I might wait to put stuff up there. Because what I'm gonna do, the stuff I don't use that much, because it's you know kind of high, I'm gonna put on top. Maybe the paints. And then like the polishes and stuff like that, I'll put down here, brake fluid, or I got some brake fluid. Um, my blaster and all that stuff I think will go down here on this shelf. Um, I, I don't know what, what all she's bringing. I got to go through this stuff. Um, <laughs> shit, I may have to put another shelf up. I know I got to put her shelf up. So, I think we'll go ahead and do that next. Battery went dead mother drill. Okay guys, we've got our screws in here. if you can see that. Let me get a light on here for you. There you go. Pretty well in there. A uh, little bit off there. But what I like about this, this was mine. I got this at a flea market and a whole bunch of stuff. It's got the cutout so you can see it up here. So that's pretty cool. And you can adjust this. This thing's old to wherever you need it to be. So 45 or whatever. What the fuck was that? Anyway, see something about them screws there? One's higher than the other. That's because I looked over when I drilled these holes. I didn't see that one's painted over. So I thought first one down from that that knob there. There, and I did the same thing over here, not thinking that hole's painted over, so this is one hole lower than that one, and that really bothers me. But, yeah, what are you gonna do, right? I mean, it is what it is. Let's see, let's put this painted side down, she can clean it up. This is for her, um, so uh, this is you know where where her bleach and stuff's going to go. That's why I put six screws and bigger anchors and bigger screws in this and there's six of them so because it's going to hold a little bit of weight. I think I think it'll be alright. I didn't drop that. I think she did. Okay so anyway so now we've got some other stuff to do. She may have yeah she'll have probably bring it down one 
down to the next hole down. I'll do that for her. Alright, there we go. Well, that really bothers me about that screw. Look at that. See how it lined up with that hole right there? I lined that one up with that hole. Son of a bitch. Oh well, what are you going to do, right? I got to pick some tools up. And then we're going to hang this right beside that one. Then those other two things I was showing you is going to go there side by side. I still got all this stuff I forgot about I need to go through. Uh, there's another one there. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Um, I may have to move my move my little car show here. Three vets and a 56 Chevy. It says it's 55 but 50, a 56 had the the fuel the filler for the fuel was on the side and I don't see one for this because a 55 had this open up your tail light opened up and that's where the filler your where you put your fuel in is this a 55 it says it's 1956 but I think it's a 55 because like I said there's no because a 55 you wouldn't see one on there because the tail light opened up on a 57 that back fin that came down that opened up to put your fuel in which I know because I've had one of each one of them cars back in the day alright so like I said I'm probably going to wait on that I got to cool down for a minute before we start on these and get my stuff together get some of this put away and I'll be back with you guys 11.36 a.m. It's 88 degrees with a real feel of 104. I'm in the garage. Now let me get that wiped out. We'll put some stuff in. Hey right, guys, so uh, we got a piece of a cabinet up. That was free. That came with, I don't know if I filmed it or not, that big uh, entertainment center thing. Armoire, it's called or whatever. That came with it. I just never hung it up, so now it's hung up for her. We hung these three items up. And we hung a shelf. I'm going to take a break, clean up some of these tools, and we'll see what's going to happen. Oh, <laughs> we'll see what's going to happen next. Shit. I found some more wrenches. Gear wrenches. My drawer's full. Well, guess I better get to organizing. So I thought I'd sit down for about five minutes, smoke a cigarette, have some cold to drink. So, Monkey and her mom are in at her mom's house, trying to sell some more stuff. Of course, they're getting all kinds of, you know, glow ballers on the house, and you know they're only asking 110,000 for it. I I told her just stick with 110. Don't come any lower than that. Jeez, man. You know, the pool needs uh, 
needs a ring for the filter where the filter goes down in needs a ring for it so I got the ring in here I got to measure it find one uh, put a ring on it but man 110 thousands in ground pool it's a therapeutic pool so it's not like it's a regulation swimming pool it's a therapeutic pool so that's kind of cool it's it's shaped really neat uh, I jump over to her video I think she shows it so so she's been in the garage so I think she's going to be bringing more stuff but this thing's cool I want to show you this uh, how well you can see it this thing is neat man this thing it's called the roto zip uh, what you can do with them is you know where a stud is on your wall you want to put an electrical box in there or whatever you find that stud and you mark out what you need and you can just plunge that right in it's like a drill bit but it cuts and you can just you can make a hole without even taking you know what I'm saying it's it's really cool it does all kinds of other stuff too uh, we may do a review on that uh, I had one when I was in Ohio and man that thing was handy um, because we, what we did was, uh, like on the garage where my garage was at when it got flooded, we cut the, it was plywood. The walls were plywood. So we cut around the walls up above where the water had been. And we put new, uh, we ended up putting blown in insulation in it. And, uh, but... So you know to, to figure out where where those uh, where the holes were on the uh, for my receptacles and for the light switches and stuff. It was pretty cool, man, because we knew about where it was, so we put a mark, put our plywood up, our new plywood up, and then just used one of them. Bzz, just cut around put our boxes in because everything was already wired you know so and we put our boxes in for our receptacles and stuff back in it so that was pretty cool uh, yeah those things are neat you can do all kinds of stuff with them so yeah we may check that out but so I think monkey's got to work tomorrow I'm going to try to sell some stuff here at the house Saturday so it's not supposed to rain it's uh it's now 12:30. It's uh it's 96 degrees out with a real feel of like 105. It's 101 in this garage. I'm sitting in a fan or in front of the fan, so I wanted to sit down for a minute. So uh, I was just sitting here messaging Monkey for a minute. She keeps saying it's hot. Yeah, I know it's hot. As I told her, I'm just going to keep going. I've been out here since 9.30. And, uh... It, it just, you know, to me, it just, like, looks like nothing got done, you know? And I've been humping. I, I haven't taken a break. I know I said I was going to. Well, finally, I did. I just sat down to take a break. It's real lightheaded and stuff. This heat's getting to me, so... Uh, I could close this door and the man door in the back and open up the door that goes into the house and put a fan there it would blow some of that cool air in here but I don't feel cooped up you know I like to look out and see the outside and hear the birds and stuff so anyway I think I will go ahead and put my paints up on top um, yeah I think I'll do that for now I don't know what she's bringing though that's, that's the thing about it because I know, like the polishes and stuff, I want to keep on the lower shelf. And, like all my, my WD-40 brake fluid and stuff like that, down on the end on the bottom shelf. So, I could probably go ahead and do that, because that's where I'm going to keep that anyway. And I'm pretty sure the paints will probably go up on top. So, I, I found a couple more things I need to get put up there. And, <laughs> so... 
I don't know. We'll go from there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a break, man. Enjoy my cold beer. <laughs> well, it's NA beer, but it tastes just like beer. I love it. Then we'll get on to something else. Okay, guys. Monkey's on her way back, so I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna wait on her to get here and see what they want for supper. Uh, quick recap of what we got done today. We got her shelf hung for her. We got this hung. We got that hung. We got that hung up. We got that shelf hung up. And as you can see, I'm putting more stuff up there. Uh, this is cool. I'm going to be using this for my mouse. I'm going to do a video on this. This will be my personal one. I, got, I had to order the uh, piece for that. The, uh, oh shoot, adapter. To go into, oh, um, what do you call it? USB. So... But anyway, so we've got all this stuff up here. Of course, I already had this stuff, but got some oil, some lubricants, goo gone, tire shine, all these polishes. We got some adhesives here. We've got this stuff up there's the paints. I got a, I got them kind of squished together, but kind of in order, you know. Um, there's some white, black, brown you know, whatever, engine paint all the way back through there. My propane up there. Uh, PB blaster, grease, you know, alcohol, just stuff like that. So, then I get this. I don't know what I'm going to put up here yet. Um, so, I still got some room here and some room up here. And I think she's bringing another cabinet, I think she said. So, hopefully, I don't... I can find room for that for that cabinet over beside that refrigerator. I really don't want to get rid of that refrigerator. Um, well, actually, what I was going to do was bring her mom and dad's out because they got two. I was going to bring their good one and put in the kitchen, take the one out of our kitchen, put in here, and we're just going to donate that or whatever. Uh, but hopefully, that cabinet will fit over here. Um, so we got a radio arm saw 12 inch um, well it's a slide miter it's a radio arm saw uh, 12 inch blade so we gotta try to get it out here and get it sold also got a tile cutter too tile saw wet saw they call them and um, we got that to sell which we'll probably sell that Saturday or try to sell it Saturday but hopefully that cabinet will fit over here I, I plum forgot about that cabinet so hopefully it will if not i don't know i'll figure something else out all right guys so anyway thanks for uh, helping me out today i appreciate it uh there's a wasp in here hope it goes out because if monkey gets stung she's very allergic to bees okay so anyway thanks again guys appreciate it thanks for joining me today weekend's almost here one more day I appreciate everything guys and uh shea bear <coughs> excuse me the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. It's hot. We'll see you soon.